Hello, KCIW listeners, and welcome to Curry Cafe, where we put together a panel of volunteers and guests who discuss various topics from whimsical and fun to more serious subjects. Well, hello again, and welcome to another edition of the Curry Cafe. My name is Ray Gary, and for the next hour, we're going to be discussing a serious subject this time. Sometimes we just talk about silly stuff, but we're talking about the upcoming election and the candidates for it, and there's nothing... Well, some of it's funny if you if you kind of look at it that way. But anyway, that's that's our topic for today and every week until the election. And if you uh, want to participate, you can participate by text 541-661-4098. That's 541-661-4098. And as you probably, uh, it kind of almost goes without saying that all the uh, the opinions that are expressed here are our opinions. The four people sitting here right now have nothing to do with the uh, with the operation or the uh, or KCIW. KCIW does not have a political agenda. So I was going to uh, oh, I guess before I do that, I should. <laughs> Do we dab see, see if anybody else wants to oh, well, chime in as to who, the, who they are? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. Go ahead, Madame. You're first. Oh, oh, oh all right. First. Thank you very much. My name is Billy Hopkins Furuichi, and I have my own show at, once in a while here on KCIW. I'm a volunteer, and I love to be on the panel on Sundays. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And I'm Rick McNamer, and we always love having Billy here, of course. Thank you. And uh, volunteer. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, hey, before, I want to wish everybody a happy autumnal equinox. And I just like saying that because it (laughs) sounds smart. You are. So (laughs) it's first day of fall, and we're here in, what, almost 90-degree temps today out there? It's a little little hot. So... uh, I wanted to say that, and I'll pass the introduction. I'm the infamous uh, Roy Leah. Hello. Your voice with the LGBTQ plus 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 um, community. So if there's anything that my community would like to hear, please just text and let me know, and I'll put it out there for you. I have a question: Was there was there ever some kind of an attempt to change that from LGBTQ to something that a single word or two well, words that generalizes yeah, like you're doing? Well, it's a, it's a community of different types of people. So I, could, I understand what it is. It's just yeah. too, too damn hard to say. Well, not really. Well, it, 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 it's, it's just new, I think. And, you know, and especially right now, because we're going through a lot of information from our community, which is awesome. It just, it's, it's just going to take a minute just to, to know. You just need to practice it, Roy. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's confusing to say, you know, the, the, the queer community. Because that kind of puts us all in, into one, basically. And also, I, I think we... second people... rainbow people. We'll, we'll take that. We've been called a lot worse. So, uh, the, yeah, call me a rainbow person. I'm fine with that. With the rainbow flag and all that. I also well, think people each... just need to be educated. So and they each need... color represents each letter, you know. Yeah. So it's... And that's progressing, you know, which is great. Oh, okay. really great. I, yeah. I've, I've been chastised. I've been told that. I've you have not. No standards no, no, whatsoever. No, no, you educate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> educate. And, and you will be okay. just fine. Okay, now, if you would like to be one of the people sitting around here getting not picked on by me, uh, just let us know. We, we really want to have a, a, a variety of people doing the show and definitely want to hear from you if you are a big uh, conservative bent. The show is... Uh, Decided that a woman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, you know, and there's yeah. this particular Anything, election. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a woman. Yeah. You would like yeah. to come here and defend your ideas? <laughs> I'm and a If you don't want to do that, 541 661 4098. Send us a text that we can reply to right away. So I was going to start uh, a new segment this week, calling it the Lie of the Week. The, oh, honey. Huh? Where are you going to start? There's been a lot of them. Well, <laughs> How do you choose? I, we'll have the bridge. Let, let me finish. Oh. <laughs> so I sat and I watched the television and I watched the Daily Show and where I get all of my real news and, and YouTube, or of course 
you're not allowed to lie on YouTube. Everybody knows. <laughs> so, and oh, I'm sorry. And I quickly realized that it's only an hour show, and how would I decide which is the lie of the week? So I'm just going to go over a few of them kind of quickly. Um, okay, I, and 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 I'm, I'm I'm seeing that a lot of people seem to believe this stuff and believe in this guy and believe in this movement. Which I, I feel kind of vindicated uh, about that because I don't feel at all silly for believing in Bigfoot. <laughs> so uh, one of the questions Trump has was asked recently, and I don't remember whether it was during the uh, uh, during the debate or some other uh, interview, but he was asked if he feels any responsibility for January sixth. And he seemed surprised that somebody thought he should have responsibility. And he says, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know what was going to happen. The only thing I knew is I was asked to come give a speech. Well, surprise, surprise, he lied. Yeah, yeah he, didn't, he didn't know the Proud Boys were standing down and standing by or whatever. Mm -hmm. they, and I, I don't know how many people <laughs> we've seen interviewed uh, – that were in the crowd, and some of them were very naively in the crowd. They really didn't know what the hell they were there for. And the interviewer says, well, what made you come? And they all say, because my president asked me to. How he could say he didn't know anything was going to happen, um, I don't know. Had anything comes out of his mouth. It just, and it, it's on tape, you saying exactly the opposite. Mm -hmm. it, it's He only says what fits his agenda for that second. It, it goes by second, I think. And I just read your shirt, and I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Well, and you need to describe it now since we're on the radio. And we're not, oh, oh. Well, I, it's a picture, of, a slide picture of Chump is what I call him. Um, <laughs> does this ass make my country look small? <laughs> and it just, yeah, it does. Uh, it certainly does. It does. You know, most, one of the most powerful nations. And Okay, and then uh, I saw our... Uh, oh, back to you, yeah. Mm -hmm. The vice presidential candidate uh, uh, responding to Taylor Swift's uh, um, endorsement, and he said awesome. he doesn't really see why. Uh, a, what does he say? A a billionaire or something that has no concern about the uh, regular people. Why we should listen to her? And I think that's who we have running. I Isn't know, that kettle that's, a little black? Uh, yeah, a little bit? absolutely. Kettle? Yeah, I mean, who's the billionaire that uh, is exactly. running? Who? Yeah, yeah. Both of them yeah. are, uh, and they don't care much about the regular people. Please. And Taylor was just a normal, average girl. She's got talent and skill, and she's earned every penny she's, yes, she has. she's got. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I have a total respect. And, and I don't know if you read it. Did you read the endorsement? Yes, yes, I read I the whole thing, that, yeah. yeah. It was mm -hmm. so eloquent, it was and it was yeah. beautiful, and it was thought out, and mm -hmm. it... it Anything that you're going to do to inspire, especially millennials or anybody, really, it should be a positive thing, straight up, right? She's just, yeah, yeah. doing the right thing. Right. So how can that be? He's just and, a fool and jealous, basically. Well, and then they, they rag on celebrities, and, uh, you know, I guess that can get a little much for some people, but don't they have their own? With uh, Ted Nugent, Kid Rock, <laughs> right? Uh, oh, Scott Bayo. I mean, well, I don't know. It's all about they think money is the power. All those intellectual people that are all. So. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right. so so Trump's there response to this, of course, in his um, Christian manner, I guess, because he claims to be such a good Christian. I hate Taylor Swift. So he hates anybody that doesn't like the length of his tie or anything. And all this hate stuff, that's what he is about. Everything is hate, hate, hate. Um, no, that's what benefits him. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't hear any hate coming from the other side, though. No. I, I have never heard Kamala Harris say anything that was hateful, anything that was other than uplifting and joyful and positive and uh, promoting peace across the aisles. I've never heard... Uh, walls say anything hateful? They are. They do not do that. Now, you got another one, I, don't you? I have, oh, I have a couple more. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm waiting for the one that I think you should have had, yeah. Uh, Don Jr. was seen saying, uh, referring to the, the people in um, Springfield. He said, when you look at the demographics and the IQ of those people, and then he went on with that, I'm not really sure what he meant by the IQ of those people. Mm -hmm. 
in the demographic. We know the demographics are all from Haiti, the ones we're complaining about. So, okay. What was his pay- point? What was his point about the demographic his, and the his, IQ of the, well, the people? His point was that they're just dumb people from the island, and and we have no. Uh, why are we concerned about? Oh, I this, see what this you're thing saying. with the dogs and cats has been disproven. It, I know from, it. it, from it minute was, one, it there was, was one woman from the beginning. way back in the beginning who lost her cat. Now, if you have an outdoor cat, you'll, you know that every now and then they have a mind of their own. and They're going to be gone for days. So. It, that's just his way of saying, "Look over there," while he's but, doing something but wrong. But that particular so, cat showed up. The cat showed up. She apologized to the people she blamed it for, blamed mm-hmm. for taking it, mm-hmm. and wished. Uh, and anyway, it was sorry that she had made this commotion. This does not st- uh, stop the vice presidential candidate and the presidential candidate who have torn that little town up. It's been said by everybody in that community that the influx of these uh, Haitians, who are not illegals, by the way. Yeah, they're, they're all legal. They're all uh, perfectly legal. We have a, a in, text, if I can get it in real quick, because sure. I'm having, I'm the operator on duty, but have been having trouble. Operator. So let me just okay. get to, sorry, Ray, but it says, Trump is promising mass deportations, including beautiful children with serial numbers, if it came to fruition. Would Brookings PD participate? Curry County Sheriff? Would Brookings sitters? Would Brookings citizens tolerate such nope. an action? No. Nope. What, well, it's what obvi- serial numbers are we talking it's, about? It's extraordinarily obvious that none of that will happen. No. So we don't really have to worry about Brookings. But look at all this. We just spent how much time on this stupid Haitian eating cat thing. Mm-hmm. The, oh. That's, it's one of the, like I said, look over there. Spend mm-hmm. all your energy about fighting this poor mm-hmm. lady with this dead cat. Total distraction. Yeah, it's yeah. distraction from the real the real record, exactly. It's yeah. right. For them yeah. to pay attention to what's really happening. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I think I have another. And I here. wonder, I, to answer that question that came in on text, would would we be? Would our community be in danger of having a, a sweep of so-called illegal aliens? And how many would we even have? And I don't think we have illegal aliens in this community. Oh, we might, but here, yeah, we might. Uh, I have another that, T-shirt. Troy, Troy mentioned this T-shirt. This T-shirt and. Uh, I have another one that has a silhouette of a, an Indian, and the and the caption is, uh, uh, "How can you be an illegal on stolen land?" Yeah, <laughs> it, it, exactly. We're all immigrants, <laughs> right? Yes, yeah. yes isn't go. that Every, the truth? So, he just want to make that an issue, and it's ridiculous. It's just, I I just wonder what he meant by what that text meant by serial numbers. Uh, well, what, that, what yeah, serial that, numbers? They don't have the, Wait, their social security card. Oh, he must have been a social card. security card. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, or yeah, a green card, yeah. Another, yeah. another thing I heard played just the other day, and this is on tape. This isn't people saying he said it. He's on, a, it's on one of those stupid talk shows he went on in New York all the time. As not, I think the, 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 the Trade Center buildings were probably still falling, or they certainly were spewing, sp- spewing smoke. He said... Now I have the tallest building in Manhattan. It used to be the second tallest, but now that was his concern. Of course. And those of you who want to feel old, Eddie Vedder just turned 60. Wow. Who's Eddie Vedder? Who's Eddie Vedder? Uh-oh. I'm Get sorry. <laughs> yeah. Are you really sitting here at this table? Does she have a radio? Does she have, yeah. A stereo system something? Sorry. I'm with Billy. He's, a, he's a lead singer at Pearl Jam. Yeah. Very okay. good singer, very good at interpreting songs. Uh, if you want to uh, hear Same a, a wonderful yeah, version of, um, I can't think of the name of the Bob Dylan song, but uh, God on Our Side, I think. Oh, uh-huh. Is a, is anyway. It? Okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm, that's okay, I'm Billy. Ignorant. You and I have been educated, uh, yeah. and I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know who Eddie Vedder was? I'm sorry. I, I know. Mm-hmm. Dock me, big. Oh, well. What's well, not like you're notice, noticing someone like Cher? Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Oh, I know who she is. <laughs> exactly. I like you know, um, on, on these lies of the week, I mean, uh, this is really isn't a lie, but a lot of things shock me, and I think all of us throughout the week, every week, until this election is hopefully over. The, my, the one that really hit me was the Sarah Huckabee Sanders derivel about how she is more special than not only Kamala, but anybody out there 
who doesn't have biological children. And she calls her Kamala. Of course, you have to mispronounce the name, mm-hmm. yes. And I fit into that category, by the way. I have no biological children, but helped raise a stepson, and now I have beautiful grand. I mean, that holier-than-thou stuff just doesn't work on me. It might work on the MAGA people, and I guess it does. But I thought that was pretty vile. It, it was. And and what she said that. was that her children make her humble and then Walls came out with a wonderful co- a repartee on that. He said, as if, uh, oh, no, it wasn't Walls. It was uh, Kamala's husband. Oh, Doug. Or, and he, he, yeah. he came out and he said, well, as if being humble is is a virtue that all women should aspire to. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was wonderful. Yes. And, and lastly, who's she standing next to? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talking about holier than thou and my being. biological children, the thrice- married, mail order bride, uh, having an affair while I think Melania was giving birth. Exactly. Come on, yes. man. Yeah. Well, that he's, just but, he, but, he, but he is not a woman. Now, I think her point is that all women need to be humble. Um, oh, I, that's her no point. Doubt. Who is she why, to speak why? for all women, period? Just well, she's, she's this holier-than-thou Christian. Why well, does that make you humble? Well, her, honey, I her, don't know. Her dismal mind and, and world. <laughs> that these people create these weird worlds in their minds, I think, and do they believe their own garbage that falls out of their mouth? Do they, they hear they themselves? They do, unfortunately, I it's, think they that's do. That's the part I don't understand. Like, that's just crazy. And I was waiting for you to say about him saying that, she, oh, she's she's black today. She just turned black. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a yeah. little accent. Are you going to turn Puerto Rican during the show or anytime soon, Ray? Yeah, you know, this, this, this shows how, how ignorant this guy is. It's stupid. I'll have to say stupid. Stupid. Huh. stupid. He, was, he was being interviewed by um, Black Journalist Society or something like that. Oh, yeah. Now, you would think oh, yeah. that this is a hot button issue. And he would have enough sense to not go anywhere well, near it. Not sense. even mention it. His, uh, his attitude should have been like, oh, this black journalist? So what? But no, he has, she turned black. Not that it matters. He doesn't care that she's black, but so why'd you bring it up? Him? Yeah. It's, I mean, he, he's an idiot. I get the feeling sometimes that... that, that uh, End of story. We, we're in uh, uh, some kind of an alternate universe. I've never believed in things mm-hmm. like that, but is the real universe still there? Or are we all going to go through one of those liquid walls that we well, see? I think they, yeah, they, they, they drank the Kool-Aid or something yeah. because anybody that, that would believe anything from that well, area. I think Maybe, they definitely It's not about party or anything like that. It's just this particular person. Yeah. I don't care what party, I mean, but you're going to believe in that mess. Like the people that drank all the Kool-Aid. How, how do we have not same you know, you would think situation. that he could be kind of a fringe candidate that people would would have fun with now and then. It started well, that way, but, I think. Well, it Money. did. Back yeah. We don't think he, he ever planned elected. on Money. being elected. Money. Mm-hmm. But it's all about how is it? Half the population. And some of the I mean, his lawyers and, and people who are educated, it's not all. Mm. Well, they want you to believe that because but when let's just say some mess went down, there would be, we wouldn't stand for like you just asked. Would, we, would us, us four, if we get out on the streets and we would march it down, we'd make things change. And if, 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 it's, if it's gonna come to that, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I yeah. went to Washington and marched when they, we had the big AIDS quilt and showed there's millions of us and we're dying. It's, it, it was mm. something that I personally had to do. I think we'll do that again if we need to, women especially, yeah. in this one, taking your rights away. It's just, come yeah. on, people. I, I really believe that there are people that just want to be close to power, and they want to get more power. And the right. people that are in in Congress and in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, most all of them are millionaires. Most of, of them are yeah, millionaires. Yeah, you kind of have to be. Yeah, and so they just want to keep that money. They want to keep that power. They want to keep all the benefits that they have by Good being. Good question. We just had the okay. All these candidates that that was running for you know the the, the Republican Party, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, whatever, right? Yeah. They spent all these millions and millions of dollars. You know they they weren't going to get the nomination. Where's that money going to? Where that's a little fishy thing that I always thought about. You I, need these millions and millions of dollars. 
Where is that going? And they, well, they probably have spent most of it on ads in the first place. But if yes. there's anything left over, they have to kick it up. Lies, basically. They have to kick are. it up uh, to the party. They have to kick it to the Republican Party. Slipping if back. there's any money left over. Slipping back through my notes, I forgot one of the really good ones. <laughs> Today, unlike when we were children, you can kiss your little boy, uh, have a good day, send him off to school. Uh, make sure you pay attention, do your homework, blah, 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 blah. The next time you see him, he has been, he's had a sex change up. Oh, he's been he comes back with the horrible. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, like you went out and mowed the grass and came back a, a, a woman. A can woman, he, yeah, can right. He, can he cite <laughs> something like this, this uh, when, I, when, I, when I was in high school, I had to have my mother sign a permission slip for me be, to be on the wrestling team. Yeah. And I'm certain if they had sex change operations then. I'm not even going to go I mean, on the no, school field trip. I, but this is this is an indication of the, the mentality of the people that believe in the exactly. Trump. Exactly. And that they have drunk that Kool-Aid. They, I have to tell you, they, they ain't woke. I'm not even going to entertain <laughs> waste on, a moment of... No, and we we really thing. we really can't believe anything that comes out of his mouth, and I think he does it just to just to get people to um, talk about him. Yeah. I really do. I mean, here we are talking well, about. Well, I him. think and I think he. he you, you know, if you if you if you, if you're addicted to YouTube like I am, and of course the people that do YouTube they send me all the all the liberal things they don't mm -hmm. send. And every day the page is covered with 15 different things. Trump has gone crazy. Trump has this. Trump has that. Uh, polls have exploded. Other polls are ridiculous. So anyway, you, and then you open it up, and, and it's nothing. It's a real nothing burger. But, I mean, how can anybody think this guy is not losing it mentally when he can tell some of the unbelievable lies? He, he claimed that he was... He was uh, a fact check ten or fifteen times during the during the uh, debate, 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 and and the audience was just astounded. <laughs> there was no audience. What? No, and he was serious. There was no audience, and he was fact checked three, three times. Three times, three times, yeah. And Kamala wasn't fact checked at all. And you think that the educated people, but we're, we're talking people that are in Congress are believing this nonsense. I know. I mean, that's just. Okay, so I'd love to take a couple seconds to not talk about him for a minute and um, talk about uh, Prop 3, which affects um, the LGBTQ community. Oh, yeah. Community. Now, that's yeah. in California. It's right? in California. Okay. I live in Chris. Yeah. Okay. California. Go, California. Yeah, I'd like to hear more about and, that. Um, there's just, it's always, look over there, and all these other issues get pushed to the side, which is really sad. And they're changing laws and stats just, and you don't even know what's happening because they're not talking about it. Right, they're too busy talking about. You have to be paying attention. Yeah, okay. Basically, um, despite the federal law since 2015, U.S. Supreme Court decision in California um, still bars marriage between same-sex couples. And Proposition Three will um, formally repeal this so-called zombie law. You know, that's put into the Constitution. Because it still states in the Con in California Constitution, the right to marry is a fundamental right instead of a law. While a measure will not necessarily change anything um, to, to California, it will precede strong legal precedents of same-sex couples. Because there's still... There's still a lot of prejudice. And there's there. a lot of legal situations between married couples, same-sex, because as far as properties and monies and... That's what it always comes down to. But to be clear, it, if you vote, what is the clear vote yes, that you, you should vote take? Yes, on it. You want to vote yes. Yes, yes, because that to, will permanently okay, okay. make it w w right. Because basically, they did, they did half the job. We got okay. they did yeah. it federally. Okay, but they didn't do it in their own state's constitution. I see. It's like finish the work. So this brings up the point of how unclear some of those are uh, propositions are written, just to make sure that to people manipulate. don't understand them. Exactly. That's I wish they did write the, them. In you the have to know words. what yes means. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, have, you have to know what the darn words say. Because yeah. <laughs> right. the intent is for you to vote their way, correct? So they're going to mm -hmm. manipulate well, those exactly. words mm -hmm. for you to. Um, and yeah. I think Troy, just like Prop Eight way back when, so uh, important, is backed by a lot of. Uh, Big uh, religious organizations and 
right wing. We talk about oh, yeah. about spreading the ugly rumors. It's going to invite child marriages. It's going to let it's just, people oh, marry their dog. And all of that. Junk. I'm just glad that people stop looking at us like pedophiles because it's like exactly. Yes. Even though Miss Green still states that that's all we. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. And. Yeah. Uh, I, was, Mr. I, Mark was a, Robinson. Uh, I was a sexual abuse investigator with the Alaska State Troopers, and with one exception, every uh, sexual abuse, uh, sexual abuser that I arrested was married, Christian, heterosexual. Yeah, exactly. I had yeah. one person yeah. in my career that I arrested that I would consider a predator. And there's a lot and, of them out there. And well, look at this guy in North Carolina, Mark Robinson. <laughs> The big, the big guy, the big, great, huge black guy who says I'm a black Nazi, and um, <laughs> just, yeah, and he well, wants to be elected governor. And Trump thinks he's uh, and Trump uh, thinks you know he's he's the pajamas. Around, he he's got a, a Klan uh, meeting. Yeah, <laughs> uh, probably. Uh, but that, that's as stupid as that is, it's exactly what that is. You know, yeah, he, it's he, he's a cartoonish character. Yeah, and he's in power. And, and yeah, he is, and he's because he's the lieutenant general, I believe, mm -hmm. in North Carolina. Lieutenant governor. Oh, I'm sorry, lieutenant. Yeah, lieutenant governor. So, so tell but, me, tell me, we're not an alternate universe. We have oh, slipped. Well, you, you know, in the movies, are. when you go, when you when you go down the basement, you go through the door, you never, and you go through this shimmering thing, and you're in. They want you to drink. Wasn't was that, 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 that and that and 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 that movie with the DeLorean? Didn't they do something like that? Back to the Future. Yeah, came well, into a, a, kinda, a whole yeah. other zip zip. Yeah. Where's Time Mandalorian? Travel. I want to go back. Maybe, maybe like, mm. maybe like Dorothy, we're going to wake up from that dream. But instead of the Wizard <laughs> of Oz, it's going to be like Mordor oh from the. It's just called growth, the, people. From the Hobbit or something. I mean, every decade has some growth, and we've come such a long ways. And I have to go back to Mark Robinson again. I mean, there's so many, gosh, uh, crazy people out there, and I think he's one of them. <laughs> and. Uh, that women's health is my probably top issue for various reasons from my past, but uh, he has said, I, I just was just today I happened to see some of the stuff that he has said mm -hmm. about women. Um, I hope I get this right. That want an abortion, you will no. Oh no, that's just, Trump said this to women. You will no longer need, or you will no longer be thinking about abortion, and if he gets in, and. I believe that's kind of true because I what think... Is that, what does that mean? I don't understand. I national ban. They won't even have abortions. That's okay. where that, that's what they, that's those what people want to go. But uh, These men, of course. These yeah, men that have, right. They, uh, yeah. Mark Robinson, and we got my scatter notes. Well, basically, he was, it was a, it's, a, it's, he was saying out loud on camera mm -hmm. that you women should have, how do you put it, uh, pull, kept your skirts down. Yeah, right. That's yeah. Kind of, yeah, in that, other words, that's kind of what yeah, I can't remember the exact quote. Yeah, on yeah. on all of that. So, something about you knew what was going to happen when you laid down. There you go. Yeah. Just and, and who asked keep them to do that? He was talking and, this stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, where's the man in the situation where where it takes two to have a baby? Well, <laughs> Does yeah. he not know that? It's yeah. ridiculous. Uh -huh. and all of us on the planet had to go through a woman to get here. <laughs> Did we forget <laughs> that? Come well, on. you know, and no, I really and I have to say this this issue of of not allowing not allowing a woman to be in control of her own body goes right back to what I believe they want to do is they don't care whether the woman dies or not, just so the baby is born, so they can build their own slave force. I'm sorry. Well, they're 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 it's more control because so, they have control of that. That's all they really exactly. Want. It's the control of you. Then, then they're going to complain that they have well, welfare mothers pumping out babies. For, for yeah, that. and do they want to take care of them? No, no. Like I said, it still takes a man to do all those things, and where's mm -hmm. his punishment? I don't see anything that what where uh huh oh, right. Not never. Right. Well, not ever. If you if you're at all clever, you don't give your real name or where you really live. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, we even no, yeah, well, have to give the guy know, credit for some intelligence. In rape and incest, there, it, it, a lot of times it's their own family member. Oh, of course. Okay, it is. so you know who it is. Yeah. So why isn't this a situation? You know, yeah, it's asinine to even think about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got another text. We have a text, and a good timing because we're halfway through. So after this text, I'll read the text. Thank you for the text. Mark Robinson also said he wants to go back to the time when women couldn't vote. That's 
been out there for. Yeah, they want to bring sl- right. slavery back as well. I think mm-hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. I don't he, doubt oh, he, said he said that. He said I would like to buy a few slaves myself. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I a lot stuff. of work around the house to get done. Mm-hmm. But well, so so real quick, we are halfway through. I can't believe it, and I just want everybody to know you're listening to KCIW 100.7. Uh, all volunteer community radio here in yeah. beautiful. All kinds Brooklyn. of views from every which way, <laughs> right? And uh, uh, again, uh, the text line five four one six six one four zero nine eight. And I also want to put out there: we're, we are going to be talking election pretty much through the election, and uh, it's kind of a, an election potpourri, I suppose, is where we're going. We can bounce all around, but we have put out invitations, and I believe. Uh, next weekend or next Sunday, we're going to have two representatives, conservative representatives, to balance out the show. Good. That's and the plan, and I'll that well, we'll keep y'all updated, I guess. Good. And if you're sitting at the beach right now, watching the waves come in, saying, "Boy, I wish I could be there," you can be there. Go to kciw.org and say, "I would like to participate in that program." I probably yeah. won't be here in the studio because, uh, but I'll be de- definitely texting in like I did last week. Good. There you go. Because it just, yeah. to have somebody say something so asinine right in your face and being a, 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 you know, a, gay, a gay man and having people call you the F word right in your face, it, that's what it feels like oh. to me personally. Yeah. It's just like I can't even stand here in your presence because you, 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 I don't want to breathe your air even. <laughs> Is that sad? It is sad. I. Um, did you have something to add? No, to that? Billy. I was actually. I know you had some things you definitely wanted to cover. I just wanted to. I just wanted to let everybody know. As long as we, we kind of had a station break a second ago, and I want to give um, everyone the opportunity to know that um, Rachel Maddow has a documentary that she produced called uh, "From Russia with Lev." Yeah. And I watched it last night. It, it is good, amazing. Right? It's, it's amazing. Gonna... And it's factual. There's it's yeah. it's one hundred percent factual. Yeah, and it's on again tonight. She's got the receipts. It's on again tonight, MSNBC. It'll six PM our time. Or just tape it if you can't watch it. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. At that I, time. It's it's absolutely amazing. If you don't know who that guy was, he was in the in the inner circle of the first Trump administration. He's a mm-hmm. Ukrainian. Uh, yeah, basically, he was. Mm-hmm. He uh, Trump sent him to Ukraine to dig up um, conspiracy theories on Hunter Biden and uh, and Joe Biden, and he came back with all of these bogus things that he drummed up. And he was also the information he got was also responsible for getting um, the um, ambassador kicked off. You remember mm-hmm. when Trump said, "Get rid of her, get rid of that." Giuliani but, too. He yeah. used to be so, mm-hmm. so revered after nine eleven, and that's yeah. my point. Yeah, it's if something like nine eleven happens, which we just had, right, and we all experienced it, we we drop all this facade mess, and we're just us. We're Americans. We help each other out, you know, because people are still dying. You know, the, the people that went in to save lives, the first yes. responders or whatever. They're still dying yeah. to this day, and and but people forget about it, you know, or whatever. It's just like no, that's what we should be all the time. We, we should be working belt? together. I together remember. One. I remember, and we didn't ask what your religion was or what any of this mess. Right. You know, just like if my neighbor house caught on fire, I would be the first one out there to help. Yeah. Would it matter to him that I'm gay then? You see my point? Yeah. Versus yes. Just on on the regular, or I'm, I'm your doctor, and you know, who, who does it matter? It well, shouldn't matter. Yeah, and it's uh, it's part maybe part of that is memory fade. I don't know, but I'll go back to the January sixth. This is where I think the MAGA people have made inroads, and I disagree, of course. Uh, of course, it was you know a few years ago, so your memory might be fading. But they've turned it into some of those people were absolutely patriots to them. Um, and it would, you know, Trump, Ray, you were talking about it, said, oh, I, I had really no, nothing to do with that, but he did. We all know it. And it was a violent. We watched it. Insurrection. And... Yes. Takeover. Come on. And, and uh, he sat for how many hours and let it go on before he put mm-hmm. a stop? Yeah. To it? And now but he, he knew nothing about it. He knew nothing about it yet. He's going to pardon all of them. Yeah. Oh, of course he would. Yeah. 
And it's just, uh, and, we can't another, let this Another quick happen. thing I found in my notes, um, I think it's this week there was a letter that was signed by 111 uh, prominent Republicans, many of them former uh, parts of uh, Trump's staff, who say that Trump has no business whatsoever being president. And that tells he's you that- competent I mean, and he's dangerous. It doesn't matter if Republican or not. You should be able to realize when somebody's lying and this stupid, basically. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, like con- con, I guess. yeah, conning you. Basically, he's a con, yeah. he's a con man. Oh, yeah, That's all sure. it is. And on that note, I had looking forward- He's a felon. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, thirty was it thirty four times? Yep. I can't remember. Yep. And he was looking forward and uh, hoping that Kamala wins. She will I, win, and I still think she will. I do hope. You know, she talked about because there's got to be a uh, There's got to be some mending of this crazy st- stuff that we have. I hope she does. She talked about it. Uh, oh gosh, uh, putting Republicans in her cabinet. Yes, I think, she did. I think she will, and I think she should. I think she'll put anybody that's good in her cabinet. Well, mm-hmm. I, off the top. You know, exactly. That's not what she should be. It doesn't matter. Kissing, kissing, no, Kinzinger, Kinzinger, Adam and, King, yeah. Yeah. Do Liz the right Cheney. But, mm-hmm. and, and even though I disagree with those, I, I know that Lynn Cheney, uh, Liz, Liz, Liz Cheney, Cheney. Liz Cheney. <laughs> is uh, pretty anti-abortion. I disagree with that, but she's uh, she's smart. And I think people. And we're all going to have different answer. opinions. You work that through right. that. That's right. how this is supposed to she has work. The capability of thinking outside that. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. And there's her. someone that I think uh, a person like me could actually talk to about that, even though I'm on completely on the other side. You know, right. that's something that Lincoln did was he put in people who actually campaigned against him into his cabinet, so we would have this this mixture. It should just of be ideas. good people. Well, here, again, I thought it. when she said that it. it it buoyed my spirits. I thought, you go, girl. That's great. And I hope that's the way it I, I think another big, big thing is you, know, you look at these people and all you see is money, 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 money. So if you're not one of those people, you feel less than. So you're automatically, and, and they feed into it, your vote doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're just, yeah. this, you, you know, you work yeah. at Taco Bell or whatever it is that you're using as an excuse. It does matter. That's where your power is. That's where all of our power is, oh, is for sure. to vote. Because if... If they said 23 people voted in this county, and it's all a Trump, whatever, you'd be the first one on the street to go, no, that, right. I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. we have to believe in the system, no matter how much they tell you it's cricket. I, that kind of ties in a little bit. to I, I heard a song uh, on uh, YouTube this week that I think comes from a poem during World War II, but the name of the song is By My Silence, and it's by Ellen... Basketill and Nick Annis. You gonna say a little bit about the words? I'm sorry. No, <laughs> by my silence. And what it, what it is is that the people singing the song are it starts out by saying, "Well, I wasn't a communist, so when they came for the communists, it didn't matter to me. I didn't say anything or do it." And it goes on right down the line. Right. You know? Right. Mm-hmm. And then at the the end of the song, of course, then they kind of came for me. So, well, they will. Yes. It's like I'm assuming you might put that on, or is it already it's, on? Moon? It's already, yeah, I'm already. Uh, not moving on, yeah. but what's going on? I'm yeah, sorry. I. Rage. I seem to remember that that was a that was a poem. It, oh, it comes from a poem that was written during okay. by somebody during World War Two. Well, I'm not, there you go. I'm a military brat, so it's like our history. All the people that have died and fought for what we have here, especially in the LGBTQ community. I mean, we've come so far. I never thought in a million years when I was a kid that we'd get here. And it's, it mm. still blows my mind that we're actually considered real people. I don't think I'm still real. struggling. Yeah. That's right. me. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, But still but you know what I'm saying? It's, mm-hmm. it, yeah. It's, we're all equal but, here. We should all be better. The amazing thing that has happened fairly rapidly, I thought. Because it's people from Stonewall. that were tired of being abused and but a- black everything. people are tired of being abused too, and they're still. I think gays have made more progress. Well, it, it's it's there, there, there's some similarities, but it's totally a different situation. Yeah, yeah. we weren't in slave. I mean, the, I can't even put those two together. But as far as but discrimination, right, there are similarities. There are similarities, but I wouldn't correlate the two. Yeah. And we, what, what we do to the African American community or the black community is just way worse. You know. Yeah. 
So, I mean, but Hitler did the same thing. He, we had where that's where our pink triangles come from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if you were gay in the, in the camps, you wore the pink triangles, and if you were Jewish, you wore the gold star, right? So I'd have both of them. No, it's wow. like what accessories? What I'm down with that? What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It just, <sighs> you know, it, it, we touched on we touched on voting. It's a big deal, but the I have. I think everybody has noticed the GOP, and I'll, I'm, when I say that, I'm pretty much talking about MAGA GOP. Mm-hmm. They have really ramped up their, uh, the most recent one was the changing the little rules for voting, like the one in Nebraska that I just heard about. I'm not quite sure how Nebraska runs. It's this electoral college whole thing, I don't think, is They're correct. Trying to manipulate it. But yeah, they're, yeah, they're manipulating because mm-hmm. they know that... Uh, when Biden was there, before he dropped out, it was pretty much a done deal. They didn't have to worry about it. They're doing the, the same. Old. Yeah, they're yeah, doing the same now, thing in Georgia, too. Georgia, too. Uh-huh. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, well, and, just and it, another when, tactic. They put all the states in colors, right? It's yeah. Like, okay, yeah. stop with that. It's like. I wish they would, too. It, that's, yeah. But. They're trying to make it harder for people to vote. Right. Yeah. For sure. And it, I, I think it's really bizarre that that the uh, Georgia legislature uh, voted two to three, or three to two, I think, to make sure that all of the ballots are hand counted. Now, come on, you, it would take months to hand count the ballots. They're not talking tallying; they're just saying counting, like. Even that, how many it's going to take how many they spend uh, on uh, counting the last exactly, mass. and yeah. they didn't find uh, there was nothing wrong with it. No, yet they're doing this so they they can actually get to the point where oh well, we can't certify the election because we're not finished. And what happened to those we're not people? Finished counting those the ballot. people that <laughs> signed their name and mm-hmm. they they acted like they were oh they, the fake electors. Yeah, why aren't oh, they? Yeah. what's up with that? Why aren't they in prison? I know that's a federal offense. Yeah, well, impersonating. See, that's the whole thing. Yeah, see, they don't get in well, trouble. We would. How we is that not? We went into that closet and we went through that glassy wall. Oh, there's that glassy wall yeah. you're looking for. I think the DOJ is is trying to sub, uh, drop that case. They're they're. I don't know if it's the, the I don't know if it's the DOJ or if it's someone who's on the Trump campaign who's trying to sub, subvert it, and so that they that case won't even come to trial. It's ridiculous. That's the other thing. When when he gets delays in his trial or things like that, like the the documents case, he said he's been yeah. absolutely 100% vindicated. He has mm. not. <laughs> he has not. He, he, and he does yeah. that all the time if there's been a delay. But I mean, anyone of us were to say that situation, they would say, uh, you're crazy and put you in you know, an institution. Mm-hmm. That's what That's I've been saying. Yeah. It's not... he, truly, he truly has some mental problems. He does. Because he believes his own mess. And it's like... Um, that's crazy. He needs some help. Because mm. if it was any one of us, like I said, honey, right, right. I don't well, how think. Can he, he... How can they talk about the audience at the at the uh, oh, at, at the debate <laughs> being upset? Come yeah. on, those yeah. guys nuts. Yeah. But again, it, it, they. It's they laughable. Lie. It's laughable. Yeah, it, it's laughable. I think the uh, do the people. Some people believe it, but I think a lot of people in his camp don't. But the, he's still there to push through all the crazy uh, agenda stuff that they want, well, such as like, attacks on women's health, uh, right. de- deporting everybody that's not glow. And that's kind of facetious, but you know, my, that's my point. And uh, not doing anything at all about gun violence, which we had another mm-hmm. mass shooting. Yeah, we sure oh, did. Oh, by the way, I'm sure everybody saw Camilla talking about what's going to happen to somebody that comes in their, her house. He's going oh, to get yeah. shot. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did. Right. She said that on yeah, the other day. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Um, this is yeah. way off, but uh, something hit my brain while we were, or I was thinking about this show today. And a scary, weird thing, but I have to ask this what people think uh, us for. Huh. Go for it. If Kamala loses, she would, won't. Would, well, would you personally, me, would I want to see? A peaceful transfer of power at that time between Biden and Trump. As ugly and scary as that is, I would want to see that. Of course. I think, okay, okay. We're a democracy that we well, have Well, because, to. you know, it's like Kamala walking up to Trump and 
shaking his hand. I thought mm-hmm. that was a beautiful thing to do. Right. And, and oh, why do you man, think I Obama that felt happen. turned it over to Trump? Come Trump, on now. Trump it, did not even go to that. No, exactly. See no. what I'm saying? It's just like, right. right. do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. That's yeah. their whole we, we have, newer thing. Yeah, we have to keep the decorum of democracy. Okay. I mean, Thank yeah, I, I, I totally agree. You know, with I mean, that. I'm pretty ticked off inside over the whole thing. But he, uh, he, I, refers, so, he refers to that kind of thing, though, as being uh, boring, old fashioned politicians, you know. Well, yeah. And, you know, if yeah. I was a boring uh, politician, I'd be coming He feeds on this so people, the average person that's working all day long, got kids and how, you know, yeah. life, a yeah, real life, unlike like themselves, that they have no idea what it's like to work for every dollar that you make. Right. None of them do. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. crucial. They just say, uh, just, it's too much, I can't deal with it. Right? And that's what they want you to do so you won't vote. Exactly. They don't. So then they can manipulate the law or whatever's going to happen because- you're too frustrated. They don't want you to to understand what's going on. It's no. Like when he says he's going to levy tariffs on everything and that's going to make everything better, <laughs> your food prices will go down. That's a lot of the horse yes, puppy because yeah. tariffs, if you put a tariff on people, something, if you put a tariff on something, prices will go up. Because yeah, people a lot of people just don't understand that. That yeah. seems pretty simple to me. Yeah. Well, well uh, they think that that their prices are going to go down because they think China is going to have to pay the tariffs, so my prices are going to go down. No, that cost is going to get laid back on to the product to you're buying. To, we need to listen to more each other instead yeah. of this thing. You know, like you're saying, on <laughs> on the phone, on the you know, on the the, the internet is where they get your information. You've got to get it from a lot of places. Yeah. Okay. Give that number. You, get get your pen handy because I'm going to give you the number again. Okay. 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 Five four one six six one. Four zero nine eight. That's five four one six six one four zero nine eight. And you can you can send us concerns. a text, and yeah. the operators that are standing by will be happy to hear from you. All nine of them are just ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you don't have to send money. You could if they like. <laughs> Never turn down money, oh, well. girl. Please, honey, no. <laughs> I wonder how many uh, students of history, or even people who've read some history, get concerned when they hear. Uh, Trump quoting Hitler so so often, not exact quotes. But Please, cer- certainly they uh, they haven't learned kind of a yeah. weak weak nudge, nudge yeah. whoever they want to. I, I don't that. I don't think our population is uh, educated enough to understand what really happened in it, World War Two. These are the people too who, who who think we don't need to protect Ukraine. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. Putin has said he wants to. Rebuild the Soviet Union, and it's mm-hmm. every country that Hitler went into, some with uh, with uh, who your forefathers died for. He by said, the "This way. is it. I don't want yeah. any more. I'm not going to yeah. until next week." When. Yeah, and Pol- mm-hmm. and he, then he went into Poland, and yeah. yes, mm-hmm. and is it kind of funny uh, that it's not funny, laughing oh, funny, <laughs> but mm-hmm. y- Ukraine and the Israel Gaza thing have kind of fallen off by the wayside a little as far as reporting. Yeah, it's not the first thing in the news anymore. No, no, and that's... Uh, it's pretty, and that's too it, bad. It, it is. Yeah. Oh, wow. And even when you do see it, aren't you aren't you thankful somewhere in your mind that that's not you? Oh, oh my you know, gosh, isn't that the truth? A rolling oh. of the dice, and that could have been could you. Could have been you. So how can you not yeah. empathize for these people? Well, whether you know, Trump was, talking, Trump was talking about a kid going to school and coming back with a sex change operation. How about a kid going to school and his school is blown up? What school? In Gaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the Gaza block. Strip. Or in, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, exactly. They get kind of, I think... Mm-hmm. Uh, they are eating. They aren't sleeping. They have no place to live. They're, they're, it's well, rubble. And they're getting shot in the street. And, Come on. It's, it's we so see nice. these dying babies and people, whole neighborhoods of nothing but civilians being blown up and destroyed, and I think we're desensitized. I call it rich people extent. problems. And he's... Yeah. It's about stuff about rich people problems. It's well, we should be doing everything we could to help Ukraine and getting every country to. And oh, oh, of course, Mr. Dollar Man Trump says, "Well, if you don't play, pay your your dues into NATO, we're not only not going to help you, but if somebody wants to invade you, we're no gonna... problem." Na- excuse me, NATO doesn't have dues. Well, do, uh, money. They have but the... he thinks they do. They He's don't. stupid. Uh, How many times uh, we have to say this? Well, NATO the. <laughs> countries countries pay into NATO based on their na- gross national product. Right. They don't have dues. How can they well, pay more well, just because... Kind of I semantics. Mean, 
No, he just thinks we're stupid enough well, to die his, yeah, his, baloney. His, yeah, baloney. There you go. Yeah. Well, anyway. uh, is Hunter Hitler right, get to power? Hello? The, the, the other yes. interesting thing Same is, situation. Yes. Trump People is not, let him get to power, and Trump, we can't let this person get to power. Trump is pretty well known for not paying his bills, but he should not. <laughs> yes, but, that's right. What? Oh, my God. Oh, this is so that's true. A, that's a big mm. factor. Mm. Yeah, well, hopefully those two subjects, we just, Ukraine and Israel, Gaza, hopefully we can talk about those after the election when Kamala is in charge. And mm -hmm. because th I think those two things have to be. And let, what do you think that's going to be like? I thought it, after when well, she went, you know what the she, transfer when how do you think he's going to act or you know how is that's going to be oh, she's well, going to have to be tough on Netanyahu. Yes, she is. Yeah, I agree a is. thousand percent. But we watch Trump. Trump fade the hell away. I think. Oh God. <laughs> I think that will happen. I really do. It might take a while, it, especially if it's a. I hate to say it, jinx it. A landslide. It better be but a I landslide. Think oh, it, a, please. I think there's a possibility of that. It has to be. It, it, yeah. And people, it, yeah. if you're listening, please. But it, it, and, it doesn't matter. It does matter. This one really matters. Uh, exactly. We've yeah. heard, heard every election serious. since we were 10 years old. Yeah. This is the most the important election of your life. But I believe it. And it time. is this time. It this is. Time. No we, effing way around it. And we were talking before the show about the, you know, to me, it's just loud and obnoxious. These, I didn't know. Billy was saying, since she hears them every Saturday, I guess these Trump rallies that go through oh, town, yeah. honking the horn. Mm -hmm. I just, come on, man. And that was right after Biden got elected. They yeah. were doing that. Now, they didn't do it this last Saturday, though. I didn't hear the Trump horns this last Saturday. And I'm just wondering if um, somehow they got shut down by the police department. I, well, I imagine just for a second if those people would take that same energy that they're wasting on what they're doing and fed the homeless or an organization that needs real help, real mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. what, what what kind of better society that would be just in general? Well, I doubt those people care too much they, about the asking. homeless. I know. Well, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's I just know. like a oh, wasted energy of your time and effort as a well, human. And, and you know what? I, I, was, I happened to be down at the harbor one Saturday. At least you know who to year. avoid. What's that? They let you know who to avoid. Well, yeah. But I was down there with a friend, and we were walking our dogs, and it was Saturday, and I wasn't aware that it happened every Saturday. Every and Saturday. Here they come, man. You know, the the little beautiful harbor with the boats, and you're watching, and then here comes the honking and the loudspeaker, all that. What an intrusion of the quality of life to me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. My for, 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 what's the, the point again? I don't know. It's There you go. Do you see Democrats that's, doing that? Because it's that's it's asinine. It's, it's stupid. It's bullying. That's what it, it is. is. It is. And I would say bordering cult uh, behavior. It man. totally is cult. Oh, and we've absolutely. got enough of those going on. I mean, come it on. definitely meets the definition. My favorite uh, banners or whatever are the, are the signs that say, cut the BS, elect Trump. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. That's, it doesn't say BS, but it says. Uh, yeah. You know, I word that I'm not allowed to say. Interesting. I hadn't seen that one, but that again, that's projection. Yeah, it's there's like, a there's a, um, the a Toyota come... camper with a big sign on the back of it, and there's quite a few of them. That's a yeah. Wow, that's talk about projection. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the BS thought, coming from? It's coming from them. But, As a gay person watching your shirt, right? There was a time for us that we looked like I look at this moment. Being out on the street, you'd get harassed, mm -hmm. right? Well, the same kind of thing with that is you'd be harassed because you know you look the part, but oh, you're, you're not a Trumpster. So then you you get either you know, beat up, whatever they mm -hmm. you should happen mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's good that you do say something. Out well, loud. and Ray, I think I, we've talked about this. I wondered if you've ever uh, you wear a, a variety of wonderful shirts that I've seen. Do have you ever been no. accosted here no, in town? I, I get nothing but good remarks. That's amazing. Back when Trump was first elected, I put an upside down American flag on my truck. And that's when it meant something different than it was. Right. For some reason right. or other, Trump has co opted that. But it yep. Meant, yep. meant the country's in trouble. One or two people said something to me. And my wife used to get things said to her all the time. I guess it's easier to speak to a woman than a six foot tall guy, but <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what but it is. Everybody yeah. said, "Aren't you worried about getting your windows broken out?" And well, not really. But if you, you don't have, stand for something, you, you have to have for anything. You have exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to have the courage of your conviction. Because they said that about our, our, my flag where I live. You know, it's like 
Aren't you afraid? No, I'm not. No. I have the right. This is my property. I own it. I can hang whatever I want. If you don't like it, then that's your problem. Yeah. I let you put your flag or whatever you want on your property, correct? And I don't bother you. So it should be the same kind of thing. It should thing. be the same, but I don't think it's the same all the time. But I, I And that's right. Unfortunately. Right? You have not had any issues where you live in Crescent City either then. Of, as uh, far as what? As far as harassment, uh, harassment, oh. uh, sign. But you said you've been harassed, like walking through Home Depot or something. Oh, please, yeah, okay. It's it's okay. really kind of it's yeah. It's so really that's, what, that's, the last election, not this one. Uh-huh. We bought signs for the yard, you know, our, our little corner, and people were literally I have, have on camera stealing the flat. You know, okay. The there you go, man. We have it again this time, but even more. But mine aren't all on the outside. I made my own signs and they're huge and they're in my windows so no one can get to them or whatever it's it's been a lot better i guess less horns less honking oh i'm more upset about the fireworks in crescent city than anything else you know what that's yeah we'll have to that's another whole show man that's true crazy nut fireworks but it will go (laughs) yeah Yeah. that's too bad because i have it where i live once you can't live to be afraid it's like no again or somebody's going to do something to you right because you've got your opinion and yeah, yeah. We can go back to that song that. I mentioned earlier about uh, "By My Silence." Yeah, yeah. By That's my a silence, great song. This happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like my mother used to say all the time: if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we are running a little low on oh time my God. here already. Uh, it goes so quick. It so does. anybody has? Yeah. Well, my show is going to be. I'm going to be taping my shows for. Okay. To put that on, you know. Right on. Share the joy with Troy. Share. C H E R. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're well, just going to be a show full of happy thoughts and good things happening in our community because there's so awesome. many good people awesome. and good things happening. And I want people to hear some of that. So, right. especially from a LGBTQ. Show, in other words. Uh, what? A fantasy show. No. no. Uh, uh, it's no. a show proving things. Uh, we've already started um, having meetings for our next Pride, you know, the second annual Pride in Crescent okay. City. It's This one's going to be. Twice as twice as good because we we just had the first one, good. so now we have a, a a map, a roadmap on what to do to make it even better. So there's a lot of good things well, happening. I'm That's surrounded great. by famous people. Troy is going to have a show. Ray has two shows. Yes, mm-hmm. Billy has. I have it in writing that I'm a famous radio personality. Nice. Hey. Hello. <laughs> and I'm just a guy sitting by the side, but uh, he's got to go in. Happy to know, know everybody. <laughs> and yeah. your show, your show is going to be music and talking. No, there'll be there'll be um, background music kind uh-huh. of thing, uh-huh. but not directly. No, it's going to be mainly a panel like this yeah, talking great. about issues. That's awesome. What good yeah. things is happening because there's not enough of that happening. Definitely talking about, mm. you know, look over there. You know. Well, that's great. I'm, I'm hoping to uh, stretch and have some okay. good good things. Good. Good. So There's you good you don't have a time when it will be airing? Well, I'm, yet? i got to get, get with Tom, our producer, mm-hmm. and they, we'll, uh, we're going to get three of them in the can, and then we're going to go from there. Can't wait. But keep your ears yeah. open. It's going to happen for sure. Okay, very cool. And like I said, a couple minutes to go, but uh, yes, we will be talking election until... The election, exactly, the election. and and, and still, even after. Oh, oh, oh. still crossing my fingers that uh, my two guys, or I think it's two guys <laughs> from Crescent City, I'll be, be texting in that, that way because I mm. will be here next week. Uh, How are they going to sit and, here and defend that? Work. How are they going to do it? I just don't know. You, you, you well, don't we'll have, have to, to have a, a reasonable <laughs> discussion. You don't have to be a, a, a special person or anything like that if you're listening to this, or if you have a friend. Oh, who you sure. think might like to listen to this and would love to participate. We would love to have you come oh, I'm and present to hear your it. side. Yeah. Please. You know, and when we do have the GOP uh, people on the panel, I I think it would be really nice to have a... A, a fact um, checker? Not a fact <laughs> checker so much as a moderator, just to... to Oh, I could mind. Ease the... Yeah, ease yeah the, I could be looking to Ray. Oh, we are, yeah. <laughs> we do Thank need you so have, much, people. We do need to have somebody that's good yeah. with a computer to mm-hmm. fact check. Yeah. 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 Thank you to the textures. Uh, appreciate Thank the, you. And my community, yay. Yay. All right. Yeah. So we're winding down, Mr. Ray. What do you think? I think we're down to 30 seconds, and I cannot <laughs> think of another thing to say. Okay. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening, and you are listening to KCIW 100.7 FM here in Brookings, Oregon. Yeah. Tune in next week. Curry Cafe.